it's time for me to let you in on a little secret that nobody talks about. The coaching and conversations around building relationships and networks are dominated by the general need to have these relationships. Take control of your career compensation right now. It's your five minute career path. You've heard the reasons why having strong relationships and deep networks can help you in your professional life. Collaboration, career growth, job satisfaction, increased productivity. If you want more of that today, this is not the podcast for you. While we deep dive into those things in different episodes because they're all important, it's time for me to let you in on a little secret that nobody talks about. The coaching and conversations around building relationships and networks are dominated by the general need to have these relationships and what they can do for you. Today, we're going to dive into uncontrolled, deeper connections that change your life's relationships for genuine, sustained, and authentic success. I had the pleasure of doing an interview with my mentor of over two decades earlier this year. This was one of the five key mentoring relationships that I've had in my life. The sustained authenticity of each and every relationship has one common denominator, uncontrolled, deep connection, unscripted, transaction-free, no strings attached, freedom for both parties to be themselves, judgment-free, deep care for the other individual built on trust, appreciation, and dual admiration. When I entered into these mentor and coaching relationships, I had no idea or expectation other than I wanted to be a sponge for whatever knowledge, learning, care, guidance they poured out. I wanted to be in close proximity to absorb it. I had no idea I would not only gain and give, but I would be able to pour out everything they gave me for decades to come. Now I can sit here and tell you I gained promotions, money, financial success, and those things are amazing and rewarding and I wouldn't trade them. But the information implemented produces freedom at all stages of life. The genuine care, concern, and love, priceless. People who have deeper connections with others are more likely to be successful in their careers. In fact, studies have shown that 85% of jobs are filled through networking. But it's not just about who you know, it's about the quality of your relationships and deep connections of your relationships. Having uncontrolled, deeper connections with people can truly help you get to know someone and help them get to know you, which can be life-changing, life-altering for your career, job satisfaction, and overall well-being. Now, let's talk about some common mistakes people make when trying to build deeper connections. Three of the most common mistakes people make when building relationships in their career are, number one, not being fully present in the conversation. Number two, not sharing enough information about yourself. And I don't mean just personal information, but information that will help others get to know you and your brand. Number three, not following up after a meaningful conversation. This is a lesson I learned very early from my mentor, Cole Brown, the art of follow-up. It is the timing, the mode, connecting with their assistant if you have to, being flexible, and so much more. But follow up. Now you have some of the common mistakes that keep you from developing uncontrolled, deeper connections. Let's talk about the word uncontrolled. When you have a simple transactional agenda, that's exactly what you will get at the maximum is the transaction you desired to be completed. When you do not allow for the conversations or relationships to grow uncontrolled, you miss out on the deeper connection that provides the lifelong benefit and fulfillment. Knowing what you want is important, but not allowing conversations to flow deeper towards that connection keeps your relationship in transaction mode at the transaction level and it's maxed out at that point. Leave room for all the possibilities, not just the transaction that you want tendered. Here are the five hacks to leaving space and time for uncontrolled connections. Number one, the first step to building deeper connections is to listen actively. This means being fully present in the conversation and not just waiting for your turn to speak. Ask questions, show genuine interest in the other person. Number two, share your story. Be vulnerable and open about your experiences, both good and bad. This helps to build trust 
and create deeper connection. Number three, building trust is crucial for developing deeper connections. Be reliable, keep your promises and be authentic in your interactions. Number four, show empathy. This is key to building deeper connections. Put yourself in the other person's shoes and try to understand their perspective. This helps create a sense of mutual understanding and respect. And we'll talk more about respect really soon. Number five, the final step is follow-up. If you've had meaningful conversations with someone, don't let it end there. Follow up with them later to continue the conversation, to keep that vibe going. Offer your support, offer skills and your network to them. And your bonus hack for this week, while I've not always felt like I had anything to offer my mentors, it never stopped me from trying. Whether that was my appreciation in words, thoughtful gestures, or support of their work, I was always present and I communicated. And most importantly, I always represented myself in a way that honored their investment in me. Always giving them credit whenever I had the opportunity to speak their name, to send that energy back their way. Give and it shall be given. But the first word is to give in an uncontrolled, deeper connection, not expecting your transaction to be tendered. Does it take time? Does it require you to set aside things that you may want right away? Is it worth it? If you find yourself wondering who to call for advice, mentoring, or what have you, then it's absolutely worth it. Because when you've built uncontrolled, deep connections, you know who to call when things are great, good, bad, or simply unclear in your life. I want that for you right now. It's one of the best feelings in the world to know you have someone in your corner that can guide you and support you genuinely. I will be diving into building relationships over my next few episodes, so be sure to subscribe, ask questions, and comment as we go through this journey of building uncontrolled, deeper connection in all of our relationships. I love you. Now, the five-minute career hack, we call this hacking. Look at you. You just did it. And you don't have to stop here. Take one step every week and ensure that you are pouring into you and getting closer to your career goals. Yep. You see that button down there? Hit subscribe. But don't stop there because you know what they say? Sharing is caring. So take five and we'll see you next week.